Hey guys, and talking to you from Barcelona, Spain, and with me is, we're going to refer to this gentleman as Mr. N. He's just starting his training uh, this evening, and what we're going to do is just to give a little quick intro on who Mr. N is, um, a little bit about his dating background, and then you guys are going to see probably in a few videos uh, his progress, um, some approaching, some feedback, how he's feeling, and kind of giving you like a little mini story on typically when somebody decides to take a live training, what they can expect. So Mr. N, obviously you don't have to give any like too specific details, but maybe give a quick brief background on um, where you're from and uh, maybe describe your dating life in the past three to four months. Sure, so I'm uh, originally American, born and raised in Washington, D.C. I've been, uh, I'm Jewish, so I've been living actually in Israel since I was 18 for the past six years. Um, and what did you say, in the dating life? Yeah, like in the last three, four months, I mean, how have you been meeting girls? Um, how would you say your dating life right. been? So, yeah, I mean, I, I did the accelerator about a year ago. So since the accelerator, my dating life, is, it's really equal to the input, I, the effort I put in. When I get the 30 approaches a week, I get the dates. When I don't put the 30 approaches in, I don't get the dates. Yeah. Um, which uh, to me is cool because it shows that the, the method really works. Yeah. The, the structure of what you guys teach really works. And uh, if you put in the numbers uh, and you're, it seems like my fundamentals are, are solid, then you get, you get the results. Um, I was just back, I was traveling a bunch for the past, for the past about month. Um, so before that, yeah, it was about 30 approaches, one to, one to two dates. Yeah. And then uh, I did a little experiment. I thought, I'll go back. Before I came here, I was home for a week in Tel Aviv. And I thought, let's, let's not do any approaches and, and see if I get any dates from just like my social life and just normal things. And yeah. I didn't. So that's, uh, I think for a lot of guys watching this video on this channel, that's kind of our shared reality. And does David Goggins say, Roger that. And yeah. that's why we're here. I think uh, my main focus is like, I want to really just get over approach anxiety and, um, and just so you can fine tweak some things that I probably can't notice just yeah. myself. Is this your um, first time uh, taking approaching abroad um, in terms of you're coming here in Barcelona? That's one and two. Um, and be perfectly honest, um, how are you feeling right now? Are you a little bit nervous? Because like, like everybody, when they first go, so they go somewhere new, new culture, new environment, initially they have a little bit of that anxiety. Um, they don't really know like how the people are going to react. So in terms of just being raw, like how are you feeling right now? And uh, in terms of like your feelings, because you arrived, I think earlier today. Yeah, um, so this, this is my first time traveling alone which already is super cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. way better. I've been traveling with friends for the past month and like just literally um, the few hours I've been awake because I, I took a long nap today. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely a little bit, definitely some nerves. You don't know exactly how people are going to react. Uh, I, live in, I live in the Middle East, so people are quite difficult there. Yeah. Um, and so like it's, but even with that, just still being in a new place, definitely felt a bit nervous. It, it was definitely a little easier because you said that people were reacting well. James has been, rec everyone's been recommending to go to Barcelona. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of nationalities. There's a lot of nationalities here, so people are, are kind of open because uh, I guess that's just kind of how liberal cities are these days. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but definitely a little, I'm a little nervous. I did, I did the, the warm up before that I did for an yeah. hour was definitely, it got me in the mood. Um, I remember, like, I got the first two were like those cold rejections where the girl just walks by or one of them she looked at me and she goes no <laughs> yeah, and that's the that's honestly it's the best thing to happen at the beginning yeah because then it's not a big deal uh, yeah you remember how not a big deal any of this is yeah and uh you just you know and then i ended up getting a, a number in an instagram so awesome. worked out yeah i mean obviously you're here to you know we're going to be approaching some girls but i think if you take a step back and you look at the bigger picture, I think this is going to be a big step for you because uh, when I did my training, I also, that was my first time traveling alone uh, or by myself. And obviously I did it for the training, but then in the macro 
grand scheme of things, it was a big step for me knowing that I can go out to and travel to another country by myself. It's not as scary as people make it out to be. And, you know, as a guy, you know, the, these are the type of things you have to do in order to build, in order to grow. You have to put yourself in some uncomfortable situations and environments, and then you'll see that you're only going to grow as a person. And then who knows, maybe this is going to inspire you to uh, obviously travel more. You can take solo trips by yourself, and you're just going to have probably some of the best fun that you'll ever have. So, Mr. N, um, we're going to get started. Thanks guys for watching and obviously you're going to be seeing some footage of Mr. N charging around Barcelona, Spain, having a ton of fun. So sit back and enjoy. Peace.